It's welcome news to many, like our next guest who was fined. Yes, this is not, this is not a joke. Two million dollars for hosting a birthday party on her own property. Martha Bonetta, owner of Liberty Farms in Virginia, joins us now. Good morning, Martha. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank All right, you for so, having me. So that's a heck of a headline. You you own a farm. <laughs> You've been fined $2 million over a number of years, and in particular, for hosting a birthday party on your property. Why? Well, we were threatened with up to $15,000 a day in fine for engaging in farming and traditional family practices and activities and agritourism that family farmers have engaged in since forever and that are as about as American as apple pie. And, you know, we really are in a... Uh, war. We're, we're witnessing a war against family farmers all over our country, and, and farmers really are the backbone and heartbeat of America. Wait, no, they are the backbone and heartbeat, no doubt about it, but mm -hmm. you were fined for farming. What aspect of farming were you fined for, and who fined you? Well, it was my childhood dream to be a farmer. So in 2006, my family purchased Liberty Farm and we started growing tomatoes and vegetables. And I have an apiary where I produce honey. And we had a birthday party for eight 10 year old little girls on our farm. We also had uh, pumpkin carvings in our pumpkin patch. And our zoning administrator uh, sent us a, a, a notice, a violation, threatening us with up to $15,000 a day in fines for uh, not having a site plan, special exception permit, administrative permit, full-blown hearings uh, for engaging in farming and, and selling our tomatoes and our vegetables and, and having agritourism activities that uh, helps small family farmers be viable on the family farm. And it was devastating. You know, I grew up in a family where my mom and my dad taught us that if we worked really hard, we could be anything we want in life. And I never dreamed that my, my dream to be a farmer would become reality and we'd be hit with miles and miles of red tape and oh, overregulation, you, you and it's happening all over America. You can do anything you want in life unless you don't have a permit, and the zoning administrator is coming after you. So what's your next step? You're, on, you're under a pile of $2 million in potential fines. Did you file the permits and change the way you operated? Are you just continuing to operate at Liber Liberty mm -hmm. Farms? What's the outcome? Well, we... Well, we were threatened with up to $15,000 a day, and um, our farm was shut down when we were in full-on harvest. I am in still ongoing um, litigation, but we are farming right now at Liberty Farm, and um, our doors are open. We did um, fight very hard and pass legislation to help small family farmers, to provide truly unlimited um, potential and opportunity for farmers to be viable without farming in fear, without the threat of not knowing you know, any day when they're going to be hit with all of these violations and ultimately shut down yeah, uh, and prevented yeah. from truly fulfilling the American dream to be the, able to farm in peace and be as as be as successful as you can be who, on a family farm. Who to thunk it? The right to not farm in fear in America. Martha Bonetta, That's thank right. you very much for joining us. Thank You're hosting you so much. A pumpkin in politics, I know, on your location on September Absolutely. 10th. All right. Celebration of the American farmer. I love it. Thank you very much.